I have got 12 inexpensive clones of expensive niche fragrances. And these are fantastic. I would recommend any one of them to you, and I'll tell you why in just a moment. But before we do, remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. Also, give a very fantastic click to the like button if you like the video. And let me know down in the comments, what's a clone of a niche fragrance that you said, man, what you get for the price is amazing. Look forward to reading your responses. Okay, first one. We'll go with one that surprised me because I had not tried the original. I still haven't tried the original. And this one's a clone of Yves Saint Laurent Baby Cat, which I knew was a vanilla leather fragrance. So whenever I picked this one up, Arabiat Prestige Niel Queen, I didn't really know what to expect. And what you get with this one, and I have since discovered that this is what it's supposed to smell like, uh, instead of getting, you know, something that's sort of easygoing and maybe a little gourmand vanilla, you know, uh, appealing smooth leather, this fragrance is a little bit challenging because the leather is a little on the coarse side. There's also uh, quite a strong woody vibe, like some cedar. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a touch of oud. And then there is a very beautiful vanilla note that is kind of a gourmand vanilla. It's sort of like uh, Mercedes-Benz Club Black, almost exactly that vanilla note, but mixed with uh, an almost animalic leather and a kind of dark, dry, woody vibe. So dry woods, leather, and beautiful vanilla. That's why I sell Baby Cat. This one performs well, go easy on the trigger. If you do more than a couple sprays in one spot, you get kind of a strong pencil shaving vibe from those woods. But if you spread it out a little bit, four sprays, you're good to go for hours. All right, next. This one is insanely cheap, and it is a great clone of Parfums de Marley Herod. When I first got this one, I was totally unimpressed. But after it sat for a couple weeks, it was like a totally different fragrance. This is... Maison Alhambra Hercules. And this one is well known because it's so cheap. Even Amazon will have this one in the low 20s and it is absolutely gorgeous. Herod is such a beautiful fragrance in and of itself. It's a tobacco vanilla fragrance with a little bit of spice, some darkness, a touch of smokiness. And that's what you get from this one. It's sort of the fragrance profile is sort of like a more tame version of something like Tobacco Vini by Tom Ford. It's an absolutely gorgeous tobacco fragrance, and what you get for the price is insane. Hercules. Okay, next up, something very different from the one we just looked at. I think this one is kind of like summer in a bottle, although springtime, it's really going to shine as well. This is a clone of Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino. It's another Maison Alhambra. Porto Neroli. And this one is uh, kind of like pool vibes on a summer day. That Neroli, Neroli can sometimes give you a little bit of like a solar notes, kind of suntan oil kind of vibe. That has, uh, this has some of that going on. There's also uh, some sort of orangey citrus. Uh, it's a very uh, interesting, definitely floral leaning fragrance, but to my nose, it smells like what you would think an aquatic fragrance would smell like. Refreshing water with some suntan oil and some citrus is what this one reminds me of. It's a great clone. It's very close to the original. I haven't done side by side, but it's one of those DNAs that's very distinct. And as far as I can tell, they did a good job. Okay, next up. This one's a clone of one of my favorite niche fragrances, period. I think one of the best that Mancera has ever done, Red Tobacco. This one is Paris Corners Emir Wild and Tobacco. This thing is beast mode performance, 12 hours performance. It's got good projection. It is strong tobacco, dark, chocolatey, earthy, patchouli. It's got a bunch of spices. It's got some leather. It's got a touch of oud. It really is an excellent fragrance. It's loud. It's dark. It's powerful. It's spicy. It's sweet. It is very similar to Red Tobacco by Mancera, Wild and Tobacco. 
Okay, next, one that I haven't mentioned on my channel for quite a while. I picked this up a couple years ago, and it was another one that initially I loved, loved, loved the smell, but the performance majorly let me down. It's like a three-hour fragrance. I think looking back, I was going nose blind, but now it's easily a six, seven-hour performer. I'm talking about our Moth Club de Nuit Milestone. This is a clone of the beautiful fragrance by Creed, Millicene Imperial. And so this one to me, the standout is the way that they use fragrance chemicals in this, probably ambroxan, some kind of amber woods type chemical. It smells very similar to the ambergris that's used in Creed. And then you add to that, you've got a sort of melon, fruity, sort of a soft, fruity opening. There's also a sugar note, I believe. It is sweet, it's fruity, it's kind of summery spring vibes, but it's not overly sweet, it's not tropical, it's just a great soft fruity fragrance with a wonderful ambergris-like ambroxan in there. Highly, highly recommend it. This next one, this one actually performs better on me than the Mansara. This is a clone of Mansara Cedrat Boise, and it's pretty dang close Cidrat Boise, of course, is a wonderful citrus, woody kind of fragrance, and this one's got that uh, citrus and black currant in the opening. It's got uh, the uh, kind of uh, dark, woodsy uh, kind of vibe, so you've got that tart fruitiness mixing with a touch of leather, a little bit of, uh, of woods mixing in there. In the family of something like Creed Aventus, although it doesn't smell, I've smelled Aventus so much that I actually prefer this now and other, other things that are similar but different. Uh, and so it's gorgeous. It's an all year round fragrance, really shines in the spring and summer. This is Paris Corner Cedrat Essence, also from Paris Corner's Emir line. Okay, next, this one is a powerful, fragrance and it's a clone slash twist of Mason Martin Margiela's By the Fireplace. It's basically dark, woody, uh, smoky, kind of smoked woods or burnt woods with marshmallows, sort of a, a marshmallowy sweetness mixed in there. This is Latafa's Amir Al Oud Intense. This is kind of a way back clone from, I don't know, four years ago, something like that, maybe a lot longer than that. Uh, but this one is, uh, it's stronger. The, the woodiness and the smokiness are more pronounced than they are in the Mason Martin Margiela. I believe it's because there is actually an oud, a synthetic oud in this, which adds a little bit of that Middle Eastern funk, the kind of oud note that you'll find in something like Latafa Kamra or Fragrance World Mocha Woods. It's got that going on, but it's got that smoky woods, marshmallowy sweetness down to a T. Uh, I heard uh, one reviewer say that this is sort of like by the fireplace on steroids and it's about, you know, 20 to $25 all over the internet. Okay, this next one. This is a clone from Fragrance World of Angel Share. Everybody's done their Angel Share clone or twist, and this one's pretty good. There's a lot of similarities with Angel Share. There's also some differences. The biggest difference would be the quality of Angel Share makes the notes so distinct. It smells like a luxury, masterfully blended uh, fragrance. And this one captures the essence, the fragrance profile, but the quality is just not there as compared to the By Killian's Masterpiece. So this is Fragrance World Cocktail Intense, uh, and really by all accounts, a really good clone of Angel Share, and it's quite inexpensive right now. You need a clone of Angel Share, whether you get this one or one of the others is up to you, but that one, bang for your buck, and you know, similarity, proximity to the original is actually really good. Okay, this next one, this is a, it's a clone of a tobacco masterpiece, Zerjoff Naxos. So it's sort of a uh, honeyed pipe tobacco fragrance. It's got a little bit of powderiness. It's got a little bit of fruitiness in the opening, but then it's going to settle into just a gorgeous kind of honeyed pipe tobacco, a little bit of an incense -y vibe in there as if you were smoking a pipe tobacco. This is another Paris Corner Emir fragrance. Vu Elegante. They did a really good job with this one. 
To me, this is a great tobacco fragrance for the spring. It's not as heavy or as spicy or as overbearing as a lot of the other tobacco fragrances I have. So I'm going to be wearing this one like crazy as the weather's warming up here. Vu Elegante. Okay, we're down to our last three to total out our list of 12. This next one is a clone of one of my favorite niche fragrances of all time, one that I almost bought the other day that I'll probably add to the collection soon. I did pick up a few Nishane fragrances the other day. This is a clone of Nishane's Ani, or Annie, however you say it. This is Latafa's Nashit. And this one, there is agreement online that it smells very similar to Ani. It even develops similarly to Ani. It opens up with this sort of gorgeous um, vanilla lemon combo, almost like a lemon meringue pie or something like that. But then about 15 minutes in, and then over the next hour, it transitions into a, a spicy ginger vanilla. So it goes from sort of gourmand fruit into spicy vanilla, and man, it is such a great, great fragrance. And I'll tell you this, my bottle of Nishit, when I first got it, didn't perform well or I was going nose blind, but I'm telling you it is a fact now that I get easily seven hours out of this, sometimes eight, I'll even spray it on at night sometimes, still smell it the next morning. People complain about the performance of this one, but I wonder if they gave it time to macerate and develop because now I have no complaints with performance about Nishit. Okay, next. This one is a clone of Memo's African Leather, an absolutely gorgeous kind of slightly animalic leather with uh, beautiful cardamom and some sweet spiciness. This is Afro Leather by Mason Alhambra. It's an extremely cheap clone in the low $20 range. Uh, the Memo is even on discounters, $250, bucks, maybe even more. Uh, but this one in the air is super close to the memo. If I go right up to skin, there's too much of a synthetic vibe for me to ever confuse it with the original. But in the air, as all the notes sort of blend together and make that sort of spicy leather accord, it is a good clone. I would say, you know, 8 out of 10 for accuracy. For price, 10 out of 10. I think overall, it's a great clone. If you love Memo's African Leather, but you don't want to drop the, the money for it, this is a great alternative, Afro Leather by Mason Alhambra. And finally, my favorite Mason Alhambra fragrance, which is a clone of my favorite Tom Ford fragrance, Tobacco Vanille. This is an absolutely excellent super spicy, super powerful clone of Tobacco Vini, Mason Alhambra Tobacco Touch. I have worn this one so much because I absolutely love it. Gorgeous spiciness, that sort of spicy root beer vibe you get from Tobacco Vini. You've got some licorice, you've got some cinnamon, you've got some clove, I think you've got some pepper, maybe some nutmeg. It's an explosion of spice, more spicy than Spice Bomb. And then you've got that gorgeous tobacco as well as a good dose of sweet vanilla. Such an amazing fragrance, but you have to like an explosive spicy scent in order to like this one. It's a really good pickup. Uh, and I've heard it's discontinued, but you can still get it at a really good price. So that's been 12 clones of niche fragrances, but let me know what would be your pick down in the comments below. And remember to give a niche click to the like button. I don't know if that works as a uh, like button gag, but there we go. And also remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. I'm Justin, this is Siaj Sense.